Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Brentwood, California, with the frauditor known as NorCal Copwatch as he attempts the sovereign citizen script on the officers. And, well, it doesn't really work out too well for him. And, uh, well, he still winds up getting ticketed. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. A few moments later. Hi, sir. I'm Officer Green. The reason I stopped you is your third brake lamp's out, and then your reflective coating of your license plate's all messed up. Reflective coating? Mm -hmm. What's your name and badge number? Green 574. 574. You mind if I get out and look at it? Not right now. Not right now? Yeah, you sure? Because I, I check all my lights before I leave my house. Okay. Yeah, I really doubt that you would remember to check all your lights uh, when you leave the house, especially the third brake light, because most people don't even think about that one. So why don't you try some other excuse? Oh, wait, you're about to. You're going to try the Sovereign Citizen route, which really doesn't work out for you either. But it's still funny to watch you make a complete uh, fool out of yourself. So let's continue on, shall we? It's your third brake lamp. It's the one in the center. Yeah. Okay, do you have your driver's license? I do. Okay, can I have it? Uh, can you call your supervisor? I want to speak to your... Yeah. No, not right now. I need your driver's license. Well, I just told you, I check all my lights before I leave. Okay, that's fine. Just so you know, you are being recorded, live streamed. Why must you turn my office into a house of lies? Oh, NorCal Cop Watch, proving once again that you got lied or frauded. Yeah, sure, you recorded it, but it wasn't exactly on your live tab, dude. Uh, so, which proves once again, yeah, you got a lie to fraud it. And uh, I would put up a, a lie counter on this video, but I'm afraid I'll be up all night trying to get the numbers uh, correct on here. So, no, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. So, call your supervisor, you please. License? No, I'm, I need a driver's license. Okay, uh, so I just told you, I check all my lights. Okay, I understand that. Yeah, okay. before I, I leave my that. house. Okay, I, I got what you're saying. Yeah. I need your driver's license. Am I committing a crime? No, it's a traffic violation. It's a traffic violation? Yep. Yeah, I'm not driving, I'm traveling. Oh, dude, you are most certainly driving, and you are most certainly a driver, according to Black's Law Dictionary right here in fact, why don't we go ahead and read it just to be safe, because I know you don't like to read so much. And according to Black's Law's Dictionary, uh, one employed in conducting or operating a coach, carriage, wagon, or other motor vehicle with horse, mules, or other animals, or a bicycle, tricycle, or a motor car, though not a street railroad car, a person actually doing driving, whether employed by owner to drive or driving his own vehicle. And I know you're about to say, oh, but it says employed, but you know what? Black's Law Dictionary has a definition for that too. And uh, dude, you would be totally wrong on what it says. And besides, it's a damn dictionary. It's not the damn law to begin with. Okay. Yeah. Well, I still need a driver's license. I don't have a driver's license. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, what's your name? I don't have to give it. Well, yes, you do. No, not, if, not unless I'm committing a crime. Come on now, NorCal Cop Watch. You should know better than that. I thought you'd like to research laws and everything like that. I mean, this uh, statute right here shows that you have to have a driver's license at a traffic stop, and you're supposed to present it to the officer on request. So you are definitely an idiot. Or in this case, you're a uh, 
frauditor who's trying the Sovtard script, and, well, it still makes you look like a, a complete moron to begin with. Well, you, you can call your supervisor. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not engaged in commerce. This is not being used for any kind of purposes related to work. I'm traveling from point A to point B. Okay. So, you, you swore an oath to uphold the Constitution, right? Well, yeah, he did swear an oath, uh, and he would be upholding the Constitution because, you know, the Tenth Amendment grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution, you smooth brain, sovtard, frauditing moron. I mean, come on now. Didn't you learn about that in civics class? How, uh, that creates this trickle down effect where now the states can allow the, uh, the local municip municipalities to create the laws that are necessary to run their towns and counties and everything like that. I mean, didn't you learn that at all? You swore an oath to uphold the Constitution, right? Yeah, so I'm traveling, I'm not driving. Point, point A to point B. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry? Not, I'm not going to argue with you. No, I know, because you'd lose. No, you would most certainly be on the losing end of that argument, dude, because clearly you have no freaking clue about anything about the law, which is why I suppose you're also a frauditor. Uh, but a sovereign citizen, I believe, is much, much worse. But let's go ahead and skip to a part of the video where he reveals that he lied to the officer, shall we? Five minutes later. Yeah, always lock the doors. Keep your window cracked just a little bit. That's all it needs to be. I probably should go live anyways. Probably should. And so you told the officer that uh, you were live, dude. Uh, so let me ask you something. How is your audience supposed to trust you if you're willing to blatantly lie to the face of a police officer when you are supposed to and be the one who thinks he's the outstanding member of the community facing down the tyrants when, well, you lie to the face of an officer. So, how are you supposed to be trusted after that? Fifteen minutes later. And, you know, I told him, I said, I'm not driving, I'm traveling. So, you know, I tried that little thing here. Because I'm not engaged in commerce. This vehicle is registered in... Actually, it's not registered in my name because they, they misspelled my last name, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> so it's not the the vehicle's not even registered to my name actually, you know. So he said you're making this way more difficult than it needs to be. Well, shouldn't have pulled me over, bro. If you were just totally cool, totally nice, and you were like, yeah, I'll let you get out and look at it. Let me verify it. You know, if if I could verify it, yeah, I'll give you my license. But the only reason why I need to give my license is if, is if I'm operating a motor vehicle and engaged in commerce and and i'm not i'm literally traveling from point a to point b wow wow and you frauditors claim that the anti-frauditors are the ones spreading the misinformation when you're clearly sitting there uh, spouting off all this garbage without a shred of proof to back you up it's just the standard sovereign citizen argument that won't even hold up in a court of law should it go to uh, court i mean it has never really worked all right, sir. So we're able to find a match for you, okay? A match for me? Yep. All right, we're able to find your driver's license, okay? In the future, pull over right away. Oh, well, I was actually trying to go somewhere where it's well lit up because okay. you guys are criminals and right. you guys like to hurt people. Right. So I was trying to go to a place where it was it was lit up, but... I appreciate that. Unfortunately, well, I would have had to go down another two miles, and then you guys probably would have used excessive force on me. All right, me, so. well, we'll send you the citation in the mail. You're free to leave. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at that. They said they'll send me a citation in the mail. How does that work? Get out. Hey, I need your, your name and badge number. What's your name and badge number? Green 574. What's your name and badge number? It's going to be on the citation. What's your name and badge number? Identify. What's your name right and badge here. number? Who's the supervisor? I am. You are? Make yep. him identify. Do your job. It's right here. Well, so. It's right here? Yeah, it's right here. Are you related to the other right here? 633. What is it? 633 is my Polanco. badge number. Polanco. And your name? Flynn 573. Flynn 573. Okay, you're dismissed. Go back to work. Yeah, I'm good. These motherfuckers, they said they were able to find out who I was, and they said they're going to send the citation in the mail.
Uh, I still don't get how that works. Oh, it does it because you have to sign for it's something about third brake light. Let's go check it. Okay, so now you're laughing at your own incompetence. You're laughing at the fact that you lied to the cop. You're laughing at the fact that you lied to your audience. You're laughing at the fact that, well, you're a complete moron to begin with. I mean, good frickin' grief, the sovereign citizen, Ralph. I mean, do your damn research before you spout that off. In, a, in anywhere, because, well, if you should end up in court, it won't work out for you. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?